Previously, I did a video that the Windows subsystem for Linux was broken on my Samsung Galaxy Book Go with a Qualcomm 7C second gen processor. But after some updates, um, it is working. So now my next step is to install the Windows subsystem for Android. But here is the challenge. I'm only using a local account. I'm not using a Windows account. So that means that I can't use the regular way of installing WSA because the regular way is by installing the Amazon App Store. But you can only do that when you have a Microsoft account because you can only install it from the Windows uh, App Store. Now, luckily, I found an article and the article explains also some things in general, like how you should have eight gigabytes of RAM and that you need an SSD. And actually you should have a Snapdragon 8C or above. So in my case, I only have four gigabytes of memory. I have a Snapdragon 7C. Um, so I'm not even sure if it would install because I don't have all the check marks. And well, here it explains how to do it in the regular way with a Microsoft account. Yeah, you also need to check the virtual machine platform things. Uh, probably I already did that when I installed Windows subsystem for Linux, but I'll leave the link to this article so you can read it at your own pace. But I want to focus on installing it without a Microsoft account. And perhaps also this is a way to do it um, for people that are not in the US because as I'm recording this, uh, it's only available in the US. So they say you have to go to this website and you have to use this product ID. And you have to pick product ID. So paste it. And they say it's better to use slow. And then you have to probably download the bottom one, which is more than a gigabyte. So that's something that I already did. So we can close this. So when you have downloaded the file, um, you have to open the PowerShell as administrator. So run as administrator. And well, because Chromium uses a lot of memory and we're using a screen recorder, so performance is not that good. Um, we click yes.
So it's not very fast on my machine. But when you have a faster machine, like a Snapdragon 8C, or perhaps Intel i3, i5, i7, then it's probably faster. So what you can do is you can navigate to your download directory. So here you have to fill in your username. And then it says you have to fill in this command. And you probably don't want to type in the whole thing. So you can just type in the start of the name and then tap. And hopefully there are no other files starting with micro. And Hopefully it will do something eventually. Ah, there it comes. And then you have to press enter. Well, in my case, I already installed it, so it doesn't make much sense to do it again. Um, it will show you the progress of the installation and in the end, it should install. At least it worked for me. And here it says that that should be all and that after that Well, in my case, you can see that I already started it before, so it's in my recent Windows subsystem for Android. So, but if you search for subsystem, then you can also see it here. Um, since I can't use the Microsoft App Store, then I have to install APKs manually and I'm going to close this one and I found a tool on the XDA website and it's called WSA Pac-Man and with that tool then you can just um, well you have to download an APK and then in your file explorer if it opens i think i'm going to yeah, chromium is using a lot of memory so it's not really helping Closing this one in also. Okay, so now we should have a bit better performance. Um, so in my case, I already downloaded an APK file. And then it says, do you want to install this application? Now, this failed for me. So I have to do some more investigation on what is actually working and what isn't. Um, but the good part is, is that um, even without a Microsoft account, you can still install Windows subsystem for Android. And that also means that when you are 
outside of the US, you can still install it. So I'm going to stop the video here. I still have to do some more investigation to get this properly working. But the good part is, is that Windows subsystem for Android is installable on a Samsung Galaxy Book Go with only the 7, Qualcomm 7C second gen processor. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.